Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday. It's been a minute. I think this is my first Foundation Friday of 2022, but I did buy some makeup products on Black Friday last year, including NARS Soft Matte Foundation. And spoiler alert, this has become my new favorite go-to foundation. I have oily skin, so when I saw NARS has a matte version, I was very excited. So this is gonna be the main focus of today's video, but I also got a couple other goodies from One Size that I want to try as well. So let's just get started. So this is One Size, this is Patrick Starr's line. This is available at Sephora, but I did buy it on Black Friday straight from their website because they had a better sale than Sephora. This is the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. It's supposed to mattify and even your skin's texture as it grips makeup for a flawless application and enhanced wear. So I usually just use like that much, but I noticed that this does not go a long way. So I kind of have to use a lot of this primer to really cover my whole face. It has a nice smooth finish to it, like it goes on really nicely, but it doesn't smooth onto my skin very far. But I'm trying to more press it in, like so. But see, I already feel like I need more for the forehead. I got a big forehead, we got a little more. There we go. So it feels good but I do have to use a lot. Okay, am I looking blurred? Maybe, a little bit. I really went onto the One Size website because I wanted to try their mattifying setting spray, which I've heard wonders about, but they're sold out, so I wasn't able to get that. So this Secure the Blur Primer is $30, and I also got the setting powder, which you could get the primer and the setting powder in a bundle for $48, so that's, I don't even remember what I paid, but that's a good deal. Setting powder on its own is $30. I have a translucent one or a deep dark. But back to the foundation. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I'm the color Medium Deep 2.6 Huahine. Is that my color? Is that the name of my color? Huahine? Wow. Huahine. Hua, I don't, yeah. There it is, Hua Hein, some medium deep. Now, according to the website, this is described as a full coverage, natural looking matte foundation that resists shifting shades throughout the day due to oxidation. That is true. I still do love my Il Maquillage foundation and I do use it, but I do think it kind of oxidizes throughout the day. So that's probably why I like this one. 16 hour wear, that's a long time. This is also claiming to be shine proof, transfer proof, humidity proof, and sweat proof. Look at this color match though. Look at the coverage. I love a good coverage. It goes on so smoothly. Before, after. Wow. It's so smooth and even, I think it's a great color match for me, this little Huhine color. Oh yes. It also helps that I recently did dermaplaning, so my skin is super smooth, no fuzzies, no peach fuzz. That first layer of skin is gone. If you don't know what that is, I have a full video on dermaplaning, but it does make your makeup go on so smooth. And when I use my NARS matte right after dermaplaning, oh, just magic. This is available in 34 shades. It says it's for all skin tones. They even put a little note that says 94% agree that this product performed well even when wearing a mask. Hmm. I don't know if I've used this on a mask day, but I think my powder transfers more than my foundation. So there we go. Full coverage, matte, perfect color match and it just makes my skin look like butter. So smooth, hit all the little flaws and imperfections. I just love it. So here are all the color options for the shade. I am this one right here. So that means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 shades 
darker than my skin tone. This foundation also claims to have oil absorbing powders, which helps reduce the appearance of excess sebum for a lasting mattifying effect that doesn't transfer. Pretty big claims, but I love how it looks. I also went and got the NARS concealer. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I used to use this all the time. And I got this one in, what are with these names? Secure de l'Orge, medium dark 1.5, soft matte complete concealer. I got this one and I got the liquid one, but this one is even more full coverage and I'm a full coverage girl, so that's what I'm gonna use. But let me just show you. The foundation alone did a good job of hiding my dark circles. Let's just pat this on and brighten up the under eye. I like to go a couple shades lighter than my actual foundation to brighten up the under eye. This concealer is $30. It's full coverage, oil-free matte concealer that instantly blurs and smooths uneven textures while concealing dark spots, under eye circles, redness, and breakouts. Full coverage. Now I let this sit for just like a minute or two and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. Actually, it's just a beauty blender knockoff from Amazon. <laughs> so a beauty sponge, if you will. This is NARS best-selling high coverage concealer. And it even has peptides, hyaluronic acid, and a protective cocktail of vitamin A, C, and E inside. And it looks like there are a total of 30 shades ranging from light, medium, medium dark, medium deep, or deep. And there you go, my full coverage base. Now let's set it with the one size ultimate setting powder, just to lock everybody in place. Now this setting powder, I don't know how I feel about it because it has this little top and it has a little slit for the like slash where the powder can come out of. But then do I pour it in here? Because then it's in here and then on the top of here, like I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to tap it. And I think I'm just gonna set my entire face with this. Get here to avoid smile lines. And anywhere I would like highlight. So like under where my contour is gonna go. Okay, we are looking super matte. So I have been loving all these products. I've been grabbing for the NARS foundation and concealer a lot. I've been going back and forth between this and my Laura Mercier. I'm liking the primer, but I don't know if it's one of my favorites. We'll see how it does on a day where I'm really paying attention to the long lasting wear of this foundation. So at this point, I'm going to finish the rest of my face. And I'm back, full face, full glam. I love it. I just love this foundation. It just makes my skin look so like I don't know, like it's still matte, but not like a dry matte. I feel like I'm still getting that slightly dewy, creamy look, but not like dry as the desert matte. So it is currently 2.04. So I'm gonna let this sit on my face for as long as possible. I'm actually about to do my hair, do a little curly hairstyle for you guys. And then I'll come back at the end of the day to show you how well this foundation holds up over time. I'm not gonna do the full 16 hour wear test, but I'll come back as late as possible. And I'm back, it is now 7.47 p.m. So it's almost six hours of wear. And I know I look completely different, one time for the hair. Yes, spoiler alert for Sunday's hairstyle challenge video. So if you wanna know how I did my hair, come back on Sunday to see how this was done. I was gonna change back into the shirt I had on earlier, but see the way this turtleneck is set up and this hair, I'm gonna have to live in this forever. But one thing that this shirt did prove was that this makeup is not exactly transfer proof. As I was doing my hair, I think I was putting my chin down and I got makeup here and it definitely got on my turtleneck. Granted, I wouldn't have put makeup on my neck if I knew I was gonna put on a turtleneck. So it's not really the makeup's fault because it's literally hugging the makeup and like moving around. <laughs> so that's the transfer issue. 
right there. But let's check out the shine. Not too bad. I feel like I'm more like a glowy than like a greasy hot mess. But every Foundation Friday, I do grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are just from CVS. And I see how I look if I just simply remove the oil from my skin. Let's do this. If you've never bought any of these and you have oily skin, you're missing out on a life necessity. Gently pat. This should only pick up the oil and not your makeup, especially if your makeup's claiming to be transfer resistant. Ooh, before, after. See, even the before is giving me like a shine, but not like a like greasy look, you know? So that's good. Let's just blot over here. Highlight still popping. All right, back to matte. Here's the oil from my skin. I don't see a lot of brown, so that is good via like transfer. I don't know what happened here, but I did a pretty decent job on my oil absorbing sheet. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Six hours later, it looks pretty darn fresh. So overall, like I knew, I am currently in love with the NARS Matte Foundation. If you have oily skin, I definitely recommend you try it. It is on the pricier side being what? $40, but let's see, you get 1.5 fluid ounces. Most foundations are just a solid one ounce, so you get a little more, and a little goes a long way. So I will be repurchasing this if I ever run out, which I probably will because I use it all the time. But this is definitely a Bianca Renee approved foundation for those of us with oily skin. I could see this working for all skin types like it claims, but definitely good for us with oily skin. If you enjoyed this Foundation Friday, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. And make sure you are subscribed. I'm really trying to get to 600K. You could help me by just clicking that button and coming back next Sunday to see how I did this really cute and easy, kind of easy, you'll see in the video, <laughs> curly hairstyle. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.